So I was requested to make a video about protein for vegans. How do vegans get their protein and stuff like that. So I'm going to break down with you uh, some of the foods you can eat to boost your protein levels and some things you may or may not know about protein. All right, you ready? Cool. So one of the first things about protein or one of the myths a lot of people like to assume uh, is that you don't get enough protein as a vegan. Well, first and foremost, all vegetables have protein in it. Now, of course, the levels of protein vary from food to food, but every food has protein in it. Um, a lot of people think that you need this really high abundance of protein, you're gonna be protein deficient and all these other things. I can tell right now, most Americans don't need as much protein as they think they need. Um, a lot of Americans are fat. A lot of Americans are living a sedimentary lifestyle and not moving at all. So you don't need all this extra fuel that you think you need. Now, unless you're a, you know, a work, a heavy workout person or a, a crossfitter or a UFC fighter or, you know, Batman, something like that, you need the extra protein for fuel. But if you work at a desk, uh, work a nine to five and you sit in, sit in traffic for about two hours, you know, one way, an hour, hour back, uh, you don't need a lot of protein, you know, like you may go to the gym when you get off for like an hour, but you're not living that protein heavy life. Uh, so I hope I didn't hurt your feelings, but you're not as cool as you think you are. You don't need that much protein. Wow. This, woo. I, I guess one more thing about protein. Uh, a lot of people that eat meat and myself included when I used to eat meat, um, you don't realize that you're eating secondhand protein, right? So if you're eating a steak and you're getting your protein from that steak, well, where do you think that cow got the protein into its body to give into the meat? If the cow was eating protein, then it wouldn't have protein to give you, right? Yeah, so just think about that. You're, you're technically eating secondhand protein. You're not a big cat. You're not a lion. You're not a bear. You don't like cats, so this is the thing, cats can live or are only supposed to eat just straight meat, that's it, just meat. Cats don't eat vegetables, they don't need vegetables, they just eat meat, they get all they need from meat. Humans are not like that, at all, at all, okay? So let's just start there. Okay, so so one thing you can actually eat uh, that's really high in protein is thing called seitan, or seitan, you can eat it, it's like like a little loaf, it's a soy-based loaf. Well, actually, no, it's not soy, that one's a different one. This is a wheat-based loaf, it's like a wheat loaf, and you slice it up, and you can cook it like bologna or ham or whatever, and they actually put it into a lot of a lot of vegan sandwiches and stuff. I've had it before, it's not my favorite, I'm not really a big fan of the taste um, or the texture, it just feels kind of like, I don't know, it just feels weird to me. So I don't really eat it, but, you know, that is a very high in protein food that comes from wheat. It's a wheat derivative or however you want to put it. Now, of course, another thing you can eat is soybeans. Soybeans are really high in protein as well, but people have, they have this whole estrogen thing and men and ah, uh, no, whatever, who cares? If you saw the video yesterday, you already know that you're okay, you're good, you're fine, you're good to go with this estrogen, okay? Because it's estrogen-like, it's not like really estrogen, it just like gets rid of the bad estrogen. But we just talked about that, you don't need to see that. If you haven't watched that video, you should go back and look at yesterday's video. It'll uh, change your life probably because I'm phenomenal, right? <laughs> so one thing I like to indulge in a lot are lentils, beans, and uh, chickpeas. I love the stuff. And those are really high in protein, really help out and boost all that stuff. Now again, remember what I said, the American diet, what you people usually eat is enough protein, more than enough protein, okay? So if you wanna swap out steak for a peanut butter sandwich, you'll be fine, you'll be okay. You, you won't suffer any muscle loss because you, know, you probably don't have enough muscle anyway, honestly. Just be honest with you, like, just being real, okay? So, but if you if you do, eat a lot of beans. Eat some beans, eat some lentils, you know, some nuts. Nuts are really high in protein as well. Um, that's really good. Actually, did you know, um, maybe, well, okay, so, like, this is about to take a turn, but semen is like pretty much all protein. It's like all protein, like a lot of protein. So if you drink semen, uh, you just, that's a protein shot right there. It's a lot of protein. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but fellas, that's a, that's a good introduction. You know, if you're trying to get somebody to do something, you want them, I'm just I'm just saying I'm, I don't know your life. I'm just trying to help you out. Okay. So the next one is gonna be chia seeds uh, and also hemp seeds, which do a great job of actually lowering the uh, the effects of PMS or menopause. 
Both of these, Chia Seeds and Hemp Seeds, I like to mix them together and put them into the same vat, are really high and omega threes and sixes, and they do a great job of actually helping your body out when it comes to building protein, okay? Because protein is a building box, building blocks for body tissue and for fuel, all right? So take some protein, you need that. Now, if you want to get like a vegan protein shake, that's fine too, but look at the ingredients. You'll see it's nothing but vegetables, all right? It's just vegetables, vegetables, all right? Vegetable. Also, wild rice. Wild rice has more protein in it than like white rice or basmati rice or brown rice. So you get the wild rice, the colorful bag. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's delicious. Good? All right. I think I'm getting through to you here. The last one on this list is going to be oats. Like oatmeal, you know, oats. Just straight up oats. All right? Eat some oats, add it to your food. You'll be good to go. These are all protein-based foods, all protein-based vitamins, not vitamins, excuse me, protein-based vegetables that you can eat, all right? Broccoli, spinach, leafy green vegetables, all those things have protein in it. You'll be good. If you feel like you're not getting enough protein from a vegan diet, make it into a smoothie. If you like a vegan smoothie, well, uh, is there anything that's like a non-vegan smoothie? Huh, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, something like that. Some protein, natural leafy greens, you'll be fine, you'll be good to go. And you'll live to see another muscle-filled and buff day, all right? Any questions, leave them below. Any comments, leave them below. You know, let me know. All right. Uh, do.